Hi there, my name is Sweta Sukumar. I research about food, I write about food, and in this week's video, we're going to be talking about sugar substitutes. But before we get into those details, let's talk about sugars. Um, in the form, sugars in the form of cane sugar, um, date sugars, honey, agave syrup, these have all existed for many centuries in the, um, we, we, we humans have used them. And the problem with uh, using them is that they are rich in carbs, they're rich in calories, they trigger an insulin response. So we want to try and avoid that, if, especially if you're a diabetic, if you're trying to lose weight or if you're trying to stay away from sugars. And instead, you can uh, you know, explore some of the uh, sugar substitutes. Now, in the land of sugar substitutes, there are artificial sweeteners and there are natural sweeteners. Um, before we get into the natural, let's talk about artificial sweeteners. These are the properties of artificial sweeteners are that they are man-made, they're not found in nature, they're zero calories, and they are several hundred times sweeter than sugar. Now, the common artificial sweeteners that are in the market right now are um, sucralose, aspartame, um, saccharin, and so on. Now, the question when it comes to artificial sweeteners is that, are they um, safe to use? Now, if you take a look at the studies that have gone on, they have done it on rats, but there's no human trials that can say that if you say take X amount of an artificial sweetener, say sucralose or um, aspartame, then you will end up getting some problem with your health, like say cancer or something. If there was a, such a study that established that as a fact, then the governments would ban those products, whether it is through FSSAI or FDA, but they are not. But as an individual, you may not be comfortable using um, a, an artificial sweetener. So then you can still explore other options in the market. And so we go into the land of um, natural sweeteners. There are two categories, the zero calorie sweet, natural sweeteners and the non-zero calorie natural sweeteners. Uh, in, in zero calorie natural sweeteners, there are two types, the stevia and uh, monk fruit sweetener. The, uh, the, the stevia is, uh, for, comes from the leaf of the stevia plant and monk fruit sweetener comes from the lan hao gao uh, plant. Now, the property is that so it's from nature it has zero calories that's great but they do have some cons uh, stevia has a slight bitter aftertaste to it and monk fruit sweeten, uh, sweetener is expensive um, also that they're several hundred times sweeter than sugar so they use bulking agents and if the bulking agent was a sugar alcohol which we'll talk about next it's okay but if it, the bulking agent is an actual form of sugar like say dextrin dextrose maltodextrin then you're pretty much adding calories back into the packet that you're using so then we move on to sugar alcohols which is a natural sweetener so because it's found in fruits and berries but they're in such minute amounts that they are industri these are industrially made um, not extracted from uh, fruits they are not zero calories, so they do create a certain amount of um, insulin response, not as much as the sh sugars, but a fraction of it. Um, they, are, uh, they are also not as sweet as sugar. In fact, they're only 70 to 90% as sweet as sugar, which is great because now you can actually replace it um, as you know, spoon for sugar, spoon for uh, these kind of sugar alcohols. Now the common sugar alcohols that are available in the market are erythritol, xylitol, maltitol, sorbitol. They all end with that O-L um, as in their names. And, and the, they have some cons too. For example, erythritol and xylitol have a cooling effect in the mouth when you eat it. So some people are not um, happy with that taste. Um, the second aspect is that these, uh, when, they, when you eat them, they do create some, uh, if you overindulge in them, they do create uh, problems like um, gastric irritation, diarrhea, bloating, and so on. So if you have a sensitive uh, stomach, then you might want to reduce your consumption of these. So these are all the options that are available in the market. And I hope, you know, if you're not comfortable with say one type of sweetener, you can explore other options. So that's great. And they all, um, you know, you can try these kind of products. And I hope this explanation was useful to you. And I'll see you in the next video with another food item. Until then, thank you and goodbye.